All right, let's do a quick sync on equipment. Boop, 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 boop. Boop boop 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 boop. Shrek's looking at the camera. Oh, okay. Welcome back. Oh, he took a dump. Um, so we're back again, and today we're <laughs> today we're going to take out. Well, today Shrek tries just trying to get rid of the city that he threw into complete chaos by killing the Pontiff. You don't know what the lore is that comes after the episode. Oh. Well, I, I was, get to create the lore. It is my job to create the lore. I was just continuing, like, if you missed the lore before, the only reason Shrek what? came... What? Do you see that? That, that guy? That, that ghost? Is that knight on the right by any chance just sliding across the floor for you? <laughs> no. No. That was not happening for me. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, but he did get me with a good poke. Freaking, why do you want me so badly, Mr. Pokey Knight? I don't appreciate this. Dang it. Okay, I'm lagging really bad. My gosh. Oh, you got killed. Well, that's okay, because yeah. it seems like I'm about he to die too. flew over my head. That was... He, like, glitched over me. And then got, like, this uh, drop attack on me. I don't even know. It was weird. Yeah, and right back up. That, back up. Yeah, back up. Here, just come in. Summon me. Let's get this done real quick. <laughs> Alright. I just, Ooh. uh... That's interesting. Alright, guys. Welcome back to the Sheridan's After School Special. Um, today, I am Kevin Rasmussen. Um, oh, I mean, Kevin Rasput. I mean, Carl Roger Beltsman. And what do you do for a living, Carl Roger Beltsman? I make belts. Ah, what types of belts? Small belts? You know, belts for all sizes. I make belts for fat kids, belts for small kids, belts for skinny kids, belts for tall kids, belts for short kids, belts for medium kids, belts for average kids, belts for adults, belts for fat adults, belts for skinny, belts for skinny adults, belts for women. Women are adults. Belts for fat women. Bats for skinny women. Bats. Belts. 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 Turned into bats. I make bats too. Bats to hit balls. Bats to hit baseballs. Bats to hit cars. Bats to hit. No people. Bats to hit balls. And bats to hit cars. <laughs> Okay. Pretty much, if it starts with a B, I make it. Books. I make books. Do you make brontosauruses? No. Only books, belts, and bats. Things that start with a B. Can how you about, manufacture... How about, how about can you, banjos? Hey, 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 hey. Of course I make banjos. do 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 I turned into something else. I turned into Yankee Doodle. Watch out, this guy's gonna like charge us like Boya! And I'm gonna fly in him. Mm-hmm. Give him the good smack. Oh snap, what's That's what I've been trying to do this whole time is just smack down. I'm like John Cena. Dun 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 John 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 Cena makes belts. Yeah, John Cena. Have you ever seen his belts? I make them. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you ever have you ever seen his belts? Yes, I make them. You know the ones that he has won. He's no. John Freak Cena. No, no. Did you did you hear? It's a, did you hear the stupid pun I made? Have you ever seen his belts? 
No. John Cena's I missed, belt. I, like, that's a pretty good one, but I missed it. Ow. <laughs> I got hit by that fireball. It was aimed for you, and it hit its target when it hit me. So, it didn't hit its target. Oh, I didn't know that was you right there. Your hat confused me because, because it's like a... Alright. So I've been wearing this hat for like the past five episodes or more. Yeah. Well, I wasn't paying attention to you. Uh, oh, I should pay attention to this fight, though. I have a question. Do you yes. also make bass guitars? Oh. Ah! <laughs> How about bongos? Do you make bongos? Because if, if you don't, if you don't make bongos, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, you obviously, you know what, like... I didn't know, uh, that freaking attack when you went to the ground, I didn't know that was coming. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so ticked off. Let me just tell everybody, everybody who's watching this video right now, I mean this video right now, I am literally pissed off. Like, literally... I could skin a cow and turn it into a belt. Like, that is my profession. But, right now I could literally do it with my bare hands. I would, I, right now I want to um, build a wall. I forget, who's the, who's the guy who always talked like that? It was Dax Flame, right? I don't know what does my voice sound like. I really don't know. Oh, I thought I thought there was like a old YouTuber from like forever ago who always used okay. to talk like that. Okay. There's Dax Flame, but I don't know if I'm talking like Dax Flame. Oh. I don't know. I've never. I just. I've seen like one of Dax Flame's videos. Huh. I've never really watched him. Ow! I'm not doing a very good job at fighting Aldrich. I mean, I'm still alive. <laughs> so that counts for something. You're doing better than I'm doing because I totally just bit. I bought the big one. I bought the farm and the land around the farm. Oh, he's on fire now. Oh, he shot me with a laser. That's what he did earlier. That was the first thing he hit me with was a big old laser. He was like, hey, Sheridan. I'm like, hey, Aldrich, what's up? Hey, check this out. Oh, okay, what is it? It's a big laser. Oh, lasers are cool. Ah! And that was, that's, that's basically what happened. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, dang it, arrows! Except everybody watching this right now using headphones just lost a little bit of hearing. Well, I was... Which is probably going to be me when I'm watching this episode because it's hard to hear everything <laughs> on my on, on my normal phone. Mon us. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Garrett. Mm -hmm. We don't talk to you enough in this series. How's it going? How's it going, bro? Um, will you please put up a warning before Sheridan screams like a lunatic about earbud warning or something like that so people who like to hear things can you know get a good warning now kevin what if someone and now not... garrett can you also add like a parade just just a parade yeah a parade with hand-drawn pictures of all the bosses we've killed up to now all right thank you garrett you got a couple pictures to draw. <laughs> Garrett's gonna have some fun when he gets to these episodes. Garrett, today, today I was walking to the kitchen and Garrett was like, "Dude, like, these these episodes, there's like no edits. It's, it's like just I'm watching through the video, making sure everything sounds good. And besides that, I'm doing almost nothing. But hey, Garrett's gonna have stuff to do now. Yeah, Garrett will learn not to complain after this one. <laughs> I feel like there was something else I was talking about and I can't remember now. <laughs> Dude, the guy was in the air <laughs> and I knocked him down. Alright, straight to Aldrich. Yeah, Let's straight to Aldrich. This. Ignore ignore the Deacons, ignore slime balls, go to Aldrich, avoid fire. Don't don't get fired. Don't run behind me then. Well that's my plan is to not run behind you. <gasps> 
I found sludge. I didn't know it was sludge. Oh, that fireball missed you, and then like, <gasps> that sludge fell on me. <laughs> get in there, get in there, get in there. Sorry, I, I didn't want to go in like too early and get completely obliterated. Oh gosh, he's gonna show whoa, me his whoa, laser whoa. again. Oh, his laser goes right through poles. I was hiding behind that pole on purpose. I knew he was gonna try to show me a laser. Like, I came in and he was like, hey, Sheridan. I was like, you won't trick me this time. I have something cool. No, I Aldrich. I learned, I learned that he, uh... I was like, no, Aldrich. I don't want to see your stupid laser. He was like, come on, it's cool. Hey, I was do you like, see that he's wearing Nito's clothes? Oh, yeah. Get out, get back, Oh my get back, gosh, get back, get back. he is. Like yeah, I, I, don't know. I was watching. I think it was a body video that um brought that. I saw and I was like, "What? I've never noticed that before." See, I I noticed. See, I noticed he has like the fluff on him. I and I never really connected the dots, but just now I noticed the skulls on his front side, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that is Nito. This is close. I don't know if it is Nito. It probably is. He probably ate Nito." Yeah, but I mean, if you think about it, in Dark Souls One, you kill Nito. Mmm, you're right. He probably ate so, Nito's body. How does that work? You know, like that's something. But video. in in Dark Souls One, you also have the possibility of killing Gwendolyn. But you also have the possibility of not killing Gwendolyn. So you know, like it's possible you decide not to in the Dark Souls. You know, the universe. Maybe. Oh, I made made bad decisions. I didn't know he was gonna do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa, that could have killed me right then and there. I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe maybe you didn't maybe you thought you killed him but you didn't actually kill him. <laughs> Even though you stole his soul and used it to get to Gwyn. He wasn't actually dead. <laughs> this is one of the easiest uh Lord Descenders. Yeah. Oh yeah, we for some reason this was my last Lord of Cinder when I played my first time because I found my way to Yorm. Oh, watch this out for this attack! This is the only attack. This this is this is the one that killed me last time while I was telling the story. Oh my gosh, it's chasing me. It never ends. Oh my gosh, it almost got me. It almost okay. got me. It it decided to veer off into that window. For a second, I thought he was about to. What is he doing? Like that that. Like that wasn't even like an attack. He just kind of like wormed no. his way up over if, you. If you get like right here on his backside, around his wormy part, then none of his close range attacks have a good chance of hitting you. You can just like swing, swing, swing until he does that that AOE attack that yeah. killed me the first time. But yeah, this was my last Lord of Cinder the first time I played this game. Alright, for those of you who don't know who Lord of Cinder is, go play the actual game and don't listen to Shrek's story. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Uh, this, we've gotten, this episode has gone on for about long enough to be an episode, so go ahead and give us the lore before we end this episode. It really it's, it's been 13 minutes or so. We started... And... I mean... We, the, okay, I okay. Mean, Okay. We we pretty much here's the thing, right? We pretty where much are we going next. Next down to Yorm. Way. That's the only place we can go, right? Is down to where Yorm is. Yes. All right. While well, you make your way that way, because honestly, it'll take you a little while to get there. Okay. Well, I'm also gonna do some leveling. Because up. I don't think you did the dis. I don't think you made the distant manor. Your um. I don't think oh, you I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> so you're gonna have to. Make your way there. Sorry, I got a piece. So I'll do that. Um, but first, the story thus far, if you watched the last episode, or the episode before that, you should be all caught up. But to make it short, Shrek was searching for a shrimp. Found it. It's cursed. Went looking to find who cursed it. After many dead-end leads, Shrek has no idea who cursed the shrimp. Came across this deserted, not really deserted. <laughs> came across this frozen city of Erythiel, or however you say it, 
as an ice valley. Found their religious leader. Killed their religious leader because they had a disagreement. Destroyed their ecosystem. And that's how this story, this, this set of episodes begins. Shrek has just recently killed the Pontiff Sullivan. Destroyed an ecosystem. And is now strolling through the wreckage of what he has caused. There are fireballs flying around there are giants sleeping we, which we didn't even mess with there were guys with purple blades who were like hey we got purple blades and there's two of them Woohoo! we smashed them and they never came back so they're dead uh, so Shrek just continues to walk through the wreckage that he has caused until he gets to the top most pentacle pentacle pinnacle Gosh, guys, it's late. So he gets to the pinnacle building in the city. And inside, he finds a creature known as Aldrich. Aldrich of the Deep. And Shrek says, um, what does that mean? Aldrich doesn't know how to describe what deep is because it's only mentioned vaguely in the game. Is it water? Is it darkness? Is it the abyss? Why does he have a half-eaten god coming out of his body? Why is he wearing the clothes of a long-dead god? Nobody knows what's up with Aldrich. He's a crossdresser. He's a cannibal. He's all kinds of things. So Shrek says, yo, what happened to my swamp? And this is where things get interesting, guys. Aldrich says, I'll never tell you. <laughs> so Shrek took his piercy thingy and pierced him. And Aldrich said, It was Yorm! It was Yorm! And Shrek says, I thought you weren't going to tell me. <laughs> I wouldn't have killed you if you would have just told me. <laughs> but it was too late because Aldrich had taken a good, a good beating from Shrek and his friend, the Phantom. But can you trust the words of a dying slug, sludge, god, dead, multiple souls beast thingy can you take his word for it we'll just have to go find so, your arm and find out so so shrek ventures forth into the depths of the dungeons for the looking for the forgotten city well Until dang it <laughs> I got stuck between a wall and a banister, and now I'm trapped being mauled by dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, goodbye everybody, see you next time. Alright, Sheridan. I gotta, I gotta take.